today I have um, it's chicken primavera Michelina dinner, just a frozen dinner, and I have a beef patty with some tomatoes and melted cheese on top and water. Beef patty isn't still frozen. <laughs> no, we're good. So someone left me a tiny q and I thought I'd answer. But before I do that, I want to give a shout out to, what's his name, Mr. Faves ASMR Eating Sounds. His channel is really good and I think you'd enjoy it, so I'll post his link. So, I'll get to uh, that. What is today? Monday. It's Victoria Day here, I believe. to even think of stuff like that, so I really can't answer, because there really isn't one. Um, I should have brought a knife. So see, I hate, I hate to sound so, like, boring, but basically, get you more in the light here. Basically, there's there's not much I can say to it when I really don't have an answer. I'm, I'm not I'm not lying. I just I don't have an answer. Um, trying to get a good angle here. I'm going to move to a different angle here on the table, but no cigar. I'm put you down here. Sorry. Yeah, that's a little bit better between the plate and me. You can put, on, put you on a book there and it doesn't seem to fly. I know a lot of people don't like me touching the camera, but I'm trying to get the best angle, which I haven't yet found. So anyways. In your lifetime, if you could go back in time, which year would you go back to? I have two answers for that. I'd either go back to 2003 or 2007. Because just something about those years was very happy for me and peaceful and I just, I, I would uh, definitely go back to those years. Another question. Now beyond your lifetime, which year would you go back to visit? I don't have a specific year. I would go back to different eras. 
I would definitely want to go and uh, just be a fly on the wall during the medieval era. I certainly wouldn't want to stay in that era. And I also would like to just go back to um, 19th century, those, those kind of eras. So yeah. I know some people don't like frozen dinners, but I kind of do. I don't make everything all the time. And lately I've been kind of not hungry. So I really don't make anything much anymore. I just been making these whenever I eat my breakfast and Absolute most favorite meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I really don't have favorites. <laughs> I think I prefer to eat like, excuse me, sorry, like potatoes and I like turkey and stuff like that. But I don't really have absolute favorites. I don't plan my meals. I just get up and see what's in the cupboard and pick from there. If you could meet a famous person living now, who would it be? Um, Not too many people living, living and famous now that I'd want to meet. <laughs> Basically, if I absolutely had to pick a, like have a choice, I guess I, I guess I'd want to meet Rudrig, the band, Donny Monroe, <laughs> those kind of people. I have a better answer for how about the distant past, famous people. I could line up and like, have a mile long list. Definitely, hands down, first of all, Martin Luther. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I think if he were alive and I could actually meet him, we would have a lot of interesting conversations. And definitely want to meet Robert Louis Stevenson. I definitely want to meet William Wordsworth, all those poets. Definitely, definitely. Which ancestor from your vast research would you love to meet most if you could? I've not quite couple answers for that. I definitely want to meet um, Mary Esty to ask her a couple questions like what did it feel like the night before you were hung basically? How did you feel? Did you pray? What did you pray about? I also like to meet like the Pex, I forget his name, I think it's Joseph. One of them, one of the one of the Pecks that came over. 
because what reason why they came over is because they were Puritan. I often wonder, like, out of all these people I know of, which ones will go to heaven and be there? I think it'd be very strange for them to meet me and me to meet them because they lived centuries before I did and never ever would it cross their mind that, you know, they'd have descendants 500 years later. <laughs> I don't think too many people, like when they have children now, realize that like 500 years from now, they'll be a descendant. <laughs> Favorite cheese? Swiss and cheddar. <laughs> like sharp cheddar. A favorite YouTube channel? That's kind of hard to, hard to answer because I don't particularly watch one channel. I look up certain videos and certain channels come up. I, I, for, I like watching those, or what do they call them, those play sets that people make. You know how you have all these big kids, <laughs> grown up kids making these, um, I can't even think of that. Those ready bake things that we all had as children, those up thing. Well, there's one guy that does that in all different sets, all neat sets I never even heard of. And his channel is called Lucky Penny Shop. So yeah, I watch his channel a lot. And I watch Joey's World Tour. German food review. I watch him. I find him quite amusing. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I'm trying to think of different stuff that, different channels I watch. Again, I know not many Pacifics that would, like totally 100% go to. It's just I randomly serve. Okay, how many homes have you lived in in your lifetime? Which is your favorite? Uh, long story short, this home here is where I came home from the hospital as a newborn. Okay, and my mother moved away with me to a condo. I don't know how old I was. And my grandparents moved into this house. So this house I've known all my life. However, this house included to now, I've lived in seven homes. And my favorite one is certainly not this one. <laughs> I'm not too fond of it just in general, as well as the town. That's it for the questions. And it's good that there's that many questions because I'm done eating, so.
I'm gonna get more fresh stuff today. This was a quiet episode, but anyways, I hope you have a lovely day, guys, and if you're in Canada, then happy Victoria Day, and uh, yeah, so take care, guys.